I want to go on the record and say this. It is not Josh Allen's fault that the Buffalo Bills lost to the Kansas City Chiefs. However, Josh Allen was supposed to be the reason why they won it. So it's not entirely on him. Stefan Diggs had a long pass that he dropped. There were some bad calls by the coaching staff. Now I understand there were 10 people on the field, but you call it fake punt, you don't get it. There were a lot of opportunities in this game. And we're gonna talk about all of that in this video. But before we do that, make sure that you guys like, comment, and also subscribe to this channel. It's free, help a brother out. And subscribe to the channel man we're on the way to 1000 subscribers i think we are like 800 and something right now so we are very very close and with that being said let's get into the video when it comes down to it as the quarterback of the team when your team wins you get all the praise all the benefit all the accolades and so in that same breath when your team loses you deserve to get the blame. And on the flip side of that, look at Patrick Mahomes. He is reaping the reward of his team winning. And if you look at it, the defense played a huge part of his team winning. And I don't see a lot of people talking about that. Many people are labeling this as the worst Kansas City Chiefs team to go this far X and X. And I'm not saying Patrick Mahomes didn't play well. And he is one of, if not the reason they won that game. But at the same time, what I'm saying is, the defense played fantastic. Chris Jones is not getting the amount of love I feel like he deserves because, in my opinion, he honestly won them the game with that play where he pushed the offensive lineman into Josh Allen, made him underthrow the ball, which was clearly going to be a touchdown, by the way. People like that aren't getting the love. Patrick Mahomes getting all the praise, and I'm fine with that. I say all that to say this. Josh Allen deserves a lot of the blame if not most of the blame for this loss that's how it goes and that's how it's been forever if you think that shouldn't be the case then you can make that argument but for anybody to not put any blame on josh allen i've been seeing people saying well josh allen did this 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 let's just look at his numbers real quick 26 for 39 186 yards one touchdown but he also had 12 carries for 72 yards and two touchdowns he played a very good game in terms of the totality of it. Passing stats in terms of his completion percentage is not the best, and his yards are not the best. But he had a pretty good game on the ground. And so with that being said, Josh Allen is not the only reason they lost. But he should have been the reason they won. He had a chance down the stretch to get something done there after Kansas City almost gave the game away. You run the play and then you get a fumble out of the back of the end zone. I thought that right there was a key moment where Josh Allen should have gotten the ball back, which he did, he got the ball back, and should have drove the ball down the field, scored a touchdown, and went away with a win in his home stadium. But that did not happen at all. I'm gonna say one more thing about the Bills. Stephon Diggs is a superstar wide receiver. I believe in his talent. I think that he is still a great wide receiver, but at the same time, you got to make that catch right there. And I don't want to hear or see Stefan Diggs complaining on the sideline about anything until he shows me he can get it done too. And so with that being said, I want to flip back to Kansas City just for one second. Looking at Patrick Mahomes, he was 17 for 23, 215, two touchdowns. Great game. Isaiah Pacheco, 15 carries, 97 yards, one touchdown. Pretty good. Travis Kelsey, five receptions, 75 yards, two touchdowns. Pretty good. And it seems to me that when the Kansas City Chiefs, in my mind, could not necessarily get themselves together offensively in terms of shooting themselves in the foot, a penalty here, some drop passes here, they just seem to find a way to have one of the cleanest games that they've had all season in this game right here. And I know they had that fumble in the end zone. Other than that, though, it was a pretty good game. A lot of people will have pointed to that as the pivotal point if they will have lost this game, but it didn't cost them. They won. So all is forgiven if you look at it that way. But a lot of people, as I stated earlier, are saying that this Kansas City team is one of the worst. Yes, the offense is having a down year if you add it up in its totality. But at the same time, they are just finding different ways to win, putting different people in positions in a way that I did not see them doing initially. So shout out to the Kansas City Chiefs for finding a way to win games. With that being said, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. Is this mainly on Josh Allen or are you giving him a pass for this? I'm not giving him a pass. Like I said, I think he had a pretty good game. But at the same time, that was supposed to be his moment. 
his defining moment to go down the field and win that game for his team. I'll see you guys in the next video.